Hello, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to convert Grid Guide's shape layer grids into native After Effects guides. In general, Grid Guide supports two different workflows to align layers to grids. Either you align layers directly on the shape layer grids using the alignment toolbar, or you convert them to native After Effects guides. The advantage of guides is that you can snap them interactively without the need to click a button. To create interactive guides, you first create a shape layer grid as I described in part 2 of this tutorial series. Then a simple click on the Convert Grids to Guides button will create native After Effects guidelines for all lines of the grid. If you cannot see any guides, make sure in the View menu you have Show Guides and Snap Guides enabled. As you can see, if I move my layer now, it snaps to the grid interactively. Note that the Convert Grids to Guides function only works if you have Photoshop installed on your machine. This is because the After Effects extensions usually cannot create guides, and in order to make the impossible possible, Grid Guide uses some Photoshop magic in the background. But this is happening fully automatically, and you don't need to worry about the details. All you need to know is that you should not be surprised if Grid Guide launches Photoshop, and that you have to wait a few seconds until the grid lines appear. By default, the shape layer grid is deleted when you convert it to guides. If you prefer to keep the shape layer, you can disable this behavior in the settings of Grid Guide. This is useful, for example, if you have an animated grid. Then you can first create grids for one point in time, and when you move to another point in time, you simply click on Convert Grids to Guides again to update the guides accordingly. Note that you can only create guides for grids whose lines are vertical or horizontal since After Effects does not support rotated guides. But for rotated grids, you can still use Grid Guide's built-in alignment toolbar. And guess what? This toolbar is exactly the topic we'll cover in the next tutorial. This is Eric D. Kirk, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.